Well, this is really different from the stuff we've done before. That's sort of combining two other topics. We're giving heparin. There's a bunch of ways we can give heparin. You just give a shot. You may be told the order is for you know, 5,000 units and I've got blah, blah, blah. Okay, that's it. You just work out a plan old doses calculation problem. We just finished the stuff where you're told with IVs to give a certain number like 800, 900, 1200 units per hour. And you work out how much to give in milliliters per hour. Now here's what this involves. Now this is more complex than it is right here. I'm just hitting the high points. But this weight-based heparin protocol, hey, weight-based, it's like we've done before a long time ago with this uh, milligrams per kilogram per hour kind of stuff. It's similar to that because it's based upon the patient's weight. Whatever, let's say this patient weighs 80 pounds, this patient weighs 160 pounds, well, the one that weighs 160 gets twice as much as the one that weighs 80, because 160 is twice 80. Let's see. Yeah, I'm right about that. So here's the deal. Now, you'll, you'll be told this. There is, you'll be given by your licensed prescriber this little chart. This shows this heparin protocol. It'll say, now the number may differ from patient to patient, but let's say for this particular heparin weight-based protocol, it says, you're gonna give, what does this mean? A bolus injection, uh, whatever that means, of 70 units per kilogram. That term bolus, by the way, just means all at once. Now, bolus can mean an injection, but it can also mean injected into the IV line. So you may be giving some heparin in the IV solution to trickle in, that's called an infusion, slowly going in. But then you can put these shots, these syringes, into the IV line itself and give it all at one time. It just means you're giving this all at one time. as a blob, okay? That's a bolus. So we're gonna give this bolus amount, injection, of 70 units per kilogram. Now before, way back, seems like weeks ago, it was weeks ago, when you did this milligram per kilogram per day, well, you wrote it, what, milligrams per kilogram per day? Let's write this, well, looky here, this way. 70 units per kilogram. Okay, 70 units per kilogram is the order. That's what we're gonna give our patient. But I need to know, hey, how many kilograms does that patient weigh? Well, I know the patient weighs 162 pounds, so I take my 162, and of course, how do I convert pounds into kilograms? I take the amount in pounds, I divide by 2.2, but you've been doing this now for weeks and weeks, you know this. That's 73.63, blah, 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 blah. Now the caution is, it's always best. Do not round that number off, then enter it later and use that in your next step. Plus, you're wasting time and effort. Leave that number in the calculator. So if I take this, uh, 73 point, and that's a rounded off number, I'm just writing it down in that form, but I can leave it right there and just say times 70. So times 70, I've now multiplied those two numbers, but I've used the exact number here, not the rounded off version. And what is gonna cancel? Kilograms on the top, cancels kilograms on the bottom, and that is 5,154 point, ooh, that's a point, point five, what, units? I'm gonna give 5,154, or just call it 5,155 units. That's how much I'm gonna give my patient. But wait, 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 I'm not done yet. Sounds like an infomercial, but wait. I've got to know that's how many units I'm going to give in my shop. I need to know how strong the stuff is I'm going to put in my syringe. Well, it says right there I've got 8,000 units per milliliter. So now I'm just going to do a plain old dosage calculation. Now, some books will say round this off to the nearest 50 units. Hey, let's just leave it a nearest whole number. Whatever your book tells you, whatever your homework says, do it the way it says. Or on a quiz, do what it says. I'm just going to use the real thing here. 
It's the whole number. So I'm going to give 5,155 units. That's how much I'm going to get. But I determined that because of the weight. And again, if I had a patient that weighed half of this, that patient gets half of that amount. I now I'm doing plain old dosage calculations. How strong is my stuff? 8,000 units in one milliliter. Units cancel out. I just take that, divided by that, and there we go. And the answer is 0 0.6442. So 0. Hey, since it's less than one, I'm giving an injection. Less than one, I round off to hundreds. 0 0.644 becomes 0 0.64. So I get this bottle of insulin. Oh, insulin. Get that bottle of heparin. Hey, I know what I'm doing sometimes. Get that bottle of heparin, okay, and give the patient 0 0.64 milliliters of this, and that patient is going to get 70 units of heparin for every kilogram that the person weighs. I'm going to do at least one more of these just for practice. It's the same kind of thing. So if you're bored of this, I know what you're going to do. You're going to ignore me anyway. But same kind of problem. It's not a new one. But the same kind of thing, just to make sure you have the pattern down. Okay, you want to get the pattern down.